Greetings, salutations, what's up, and hello. It's Frank with the Dastardly Gentleman, and we're back with the Town of Light. Which I assume I'm getting towards what the was end. That doctor writing? Oh, we're doing Sitting this thing again. Desk. September 7th, 1938. Uh, I don't want to sit the whole damn thing again. The patient. Jump cut! And we're back. Okay, so we're gonna go look for Amara. Uh, Crazy Pants is convinced that she's around here somewhere, even though she's totes in her brain. Okay. Well, I'm sure glad I did that. Hmm. Where the fuck would I even look? In here? I mean, like, this chick had a severe love for the shower. Nope. Okay. Well, shower's clear. <laughs> it's just like in the rock. The showers are clear! This is what I imagine that my ideal bed would look like. Just let your junk hang through the middle. Lay face down, junk down. Like gravity, do the Lord's work. Oh, would you fucking stop? Huh! What is that? Is that like the 1930s rascal? <laughs> Fuck all else, it's some. Fake eyeballs, woo! All right, let's go downstairs and check. Wait, what's over here? Yeah, you know, no, I'm not doing it. I'm so tired of messing up that fucking x-ray machine trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. I just don't care anymore. Amara, come out to play! Yay! I got to come and play. Can we just skip to the part where this is all in our fucking head. Amara, hurry! Get to the chopper! Where are you? What's that? Founders? <laughs> That's the fucking special thanks credit. Are you fucking faux real? You bunch of tacky ass motherfuckers is what you is. This game ain't even over yet. Alright, round two of the other touchy feely room. Oh, thank God this bedpan's here, because I know whenever I want to rub one out, I want to think about Grandma taking a shit. Wonderful! Amara, get the fuck in here! Where are you? Don't even know where you're going! Amara, you've been pushing too many pencils! Except for this bitch with a huge head. What's her, what's her problem? She should be terminated. Who is Amara? And what does she do? Show me on the doll where Amara touched you. Wait, what the fuck? Weren't both of these rooms empty whenever I first fucking got here? Do they just not load in? Are you fucking for real? <laughs> K. 
Terry. Alright. I'll bite. I have no fucking idea where to go. I found the credits poster. Does that mean that the game is over and jokes on me because I've just been wandering around trying to fucking find it? Telefono? No, we need the light, please. I, mean, I guess I don't because I got that basically pointless flashlight. <laughs> okay, yep, there's that. What? Does this say Amara? Uh, okay. I mean, do you not want to talk about how that totally says Amara on there? Or is that where Amara came from? That's Amara in her head. Da, 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 da. I didn't want to come in here, but I feel <sighs> like I have to check everything. I don't even want to look at this fucking room anymore. Okay, and that means nothing. This means nothing. It all means nothing. Maybe that's the message here, that this all means nothing. Uh, this is girl out of control and cause trouble on the ground. She is almost three months pregnant. The nurses should be more alert. All right. Oh no, it's this fucking thing again. No, come on. I got out of it before. Ah, uh, uh. oh, son of a bitch. This is what I did last time. Last time I looked at this, I got stuck. I couldn't get out of the fucking note. Look, push escape. You click the buttons. There's just no way to. There's no way to get out of it. Oh my god, it's so fucking irritating. <sighs> Who designs this? Who makes a game that you can't get the fuck out of stuff? I mean, and moreover, who play tested it so that they can go through the the game and find all the? This isn't like. It isn't like a glitch. It isn't like a small thing. It's in the fucking game. You find the fucking piece of paper and you have to actually read the goddamn thing to have lore bits and they fuck it up. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. And I brought the game back up. And because this game doesn't do saves, it does checkpoints. Guess what the fuck what? I get to sit through the goddamn doctor desk scene again before I have to go find Amara. And moreover, I went to go try to find something out there and tell me where the fuck I'm supposed to go to find Amara so I don't just wander around wasting my time like a goddamn ghost. There's actually a full dialogue scene that just didn't fucking play, and it turns out that she tells you to go to the storeroom where they keep all the goodies for all the patients. The room that we were in, no fucking clues were there. So, here we are. Doing it the fuck again. Luckily, you guys aren't going to have to see it because I'm going to skip this shit for you. See, it still didn't fucking play it. <clears throat> Man. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. I was gonna say I feel kinda bad for looking up a walkthrough, but I mean... I I'm feeling substantially less upset about it considering that it's which direction it was. Was it through Tranquil? I think it was Tranquil. Maybe. Maybe. Mm, nope. Motherfucker. Ah, god damn it. Get out of here with that shit. I don't even fuck care anymore. <laughs> Stupid motherfuckers. Is it this way? 
Please, God, let it be over here. I think this is it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Madre de Dios! There's a bunch of bullshit in here! Alright, so hypothetically... Amara's... Bucket of happy bullshit should be somewhere in here. And, and yeah, I didn't look for the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Amara B. Aged 32. Housewife. Mother of two daughters. Married to Mario B. So Amara does exist. Yet she had no children and wasn't married. But that photo, it's her. She looks awful, darling. June 3rd, 1936. Admitted yesterday. Showing signs of improvement. June 8th. Cheerful, calm, and tranquil. Her behavior is good, and she's keeping herself clean and tidy. Discharged on June 10th. April 28th, 1937. Arrived accompanied by her husband in an anxious and nervous state. Has difficulty speaking, trembles. Discharged May 14th. March 8th, 1938. A few days before Renee was admitted, she told me that she too had been admitted only a short time previously. Arrived yesterday in a febrile state. Discharged March 14th. She didn't leave. Certainly not after a few days. No. June 22nd, 1939. Readmitted once more. The patient shows rapid improvement. You get the thing just because she got the shit kicked out of her back home? August 1st, 1941. The latest of many admissions due to agitation. Discharged August 27th. She came and went. Stayed only for short periods. But I remember she was always with me. What's going on? March 4th, 1942. Back again, the same situation. March 8th. Compared to previous admissions, the patient seems depressed even after a few days, although her demeanor is calm and she is attentive. Discharged March 25th. April 2nd. The patient is distracted and apathetic. Her husband brought her here and said, She's not eating, doctor. She spends all her time sleeping. I'm so worried, doctor. You know her. You can help her. April 6th. Tuberculosis. Patient transferred to the Maragliano Pavilion and is in isolation. May 3rd, 1942. Death from tuberculosis at approximately 8.30 a.m. Is Amara dead? Poor dear friend. I wasn't even able to say goodbye to you. Enclosed is a manuscript written by the patient, probably in a state of delirium. I'm dying. I know it. I'm losing a lot of blood, bleeding internally, too. It's strange. Since I came back in here, I can't stop thinking about that little girl with her sad eyes, her desperation. I only saw her for a short time, it's true, but she remains in my heart. Will she still be here? I hope to God not. I hope she's better and her mother's taken her home. My memories don't match up. What's the point of this? You made some Perhaps shit my up, dog. Is playing tricks on me. Things nah, are not bro. as I remember them, as I see them. But she said she liked me. I just can't understand it. I just wanted to say goodbye to her for the last time. I never even said goodbye to her. Oh God damn. I saw one to feel things again, pain, <laughs> passion, feel the damp tears rolling down my face, to remember that I was alive. It was then that I felt that I was most alive. Oh god damn. Oh, it's so bright. Why does it have to be so bright? Oh, what are we doing now? The fuck am I now? Oh. Okay, graveyard. All in jar no dead motherfuckers. Must steal the sweet ride, yo. That they parked in the bush. What's going on here? In here. Candles and things. This story was brought to you by Candles and Things. Hey. 
Okay. I can't be sure it's Amara's. So these crosses are nameless. How will we ever know who is buried here? What the fuck am I supposed to know? Did you think about checking the like the records before you came here? Oh, people are so unprepared. You are not prepared for this funeral. Hmm. There are no names. We were worth nothing in death as in life. If there was someone out there who cared for you, well, perhaps. I had mom. Let's go and wait for her. She'll come and get us. She promised. What, am I supposed to leave now? I guess so. Hey, let's just take the fuck off. I'm okay with that. Uh... Well, I'm gonna go with probably the pathway? Mom will come. She'll oh, come. Oh, we're getting dialogue. That's good. It's a good sign. We're going the right way. She promised and she'll come to get us. She'll take us home. Now I understand. I won't misbehave anymore. Was it necessary? Okay, all right, I'm gonna go with this is not... I got an achievement for coming over here, so I'm assuming this isn't the normal way or the... correct way, question mark? You only usually get achievements for following the directed path. God damn, visible fucking wall. <sighs> oh, Renee. Baby girl, I wanna get you some sneakers so you can just run some of this. There's no excess frustration now. Again, Please don't leave me. <sighs> I won't cause any trouble. I'll be quiet in my corner. Oh, look. The path divided. How I miss that dark corner where I used to spend whole days. I feel you, homegirl. Fuck, are you for real? Alright. Nope. We're I'll good. stay there like a good little girl. But take me away from this place. What the hell is that noise? It sounds like an airplane. Now that I've been playing too much Battlefield 1, now I just kind of hear it everywhere. And just assume that shit's gonna drop bombs on me. Although, I wouldn't really mind it if they dropped bombs I on this one. I must always concentrate on nothingness. <laughs> the Tao of pretty much boring. There's fmne. Fmne. Otherwise, I get confused and I'm afraid I won't be able to find my way back. Any thoughts upset me so violently? And I can't handle them. I'm afraid of myself. Of what I might do when I get confused and don't remember anything. There are some hurts I am not aware of. Is that like bumping your toe and in the middle of the, the night? Pain that causes me the most anguish. Stepping on a Lego. I only wish I could hide away in a shell, in my little corner. See no more. Hear no more. No longer exist. I used to have a corner. A masturbating corner. 45 minutes to 4 hours a day, flogging ye old dolphin.
Well, I think that might be the uh, all the time that I got for this one. Uh, this is I feel like we're getting really close to the end, so we'll pick this up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Uh, and we'll pick it up in the next one.